Today we introduce how to use the receiver and the transmitter to remote control your motors by our SVD controllers. Uh, I have collected uh, them well, so it is easy to demonstrate to how to complete uh, RC the signal. You need first uh, need uh, RX232 uh, cables to connect to your computer and make sure that this cable driver is installed. Uh, I have installed the uh, so open the software, see to the port, right port number. 115200 and open port. Okay. And at the first, you need to check the board parameter here. Maybe this our voltage protect is lower. You need to change this value and change the, this value and the voltage. Communication time out time and this to IS232. This this arrow is for save the data, save the data. And if you not use our motor and uh, the controller data you need to adjust uh, motor data, motor data and for sensors and to data here and also PID PID value. First to use uh, setting the motor data as well. Okay. Sensor type if you know in total you need to use all sensor all sensor duration duration. And then you need to do the whole sensor detective. Start. When it's finished, it will auto save the data. If it's not save the data, you will see error information here. Error information here. Oh, okay. We can have a try to make the motor run here. Speed model here, default setting speed model, maintain RPM. Right. What is rain? Rain. Rain. Stop. This one stop, this one's running. Rocket running, but when you change the parameter you need to make the motor status is stop stop status you can change the data when you testing motor running is smooth and okay and stop and we can change to extend port here PPM e, PPM one, PPM two, PPM three. Four. First to check and use. You you know you know. One two three four. And keep others. Keep others off. 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 Those off. Off. You need to keep them off. And uh, PPM one, I uh, usually for it use motor two motor speed forward and reverse. When you do this testing, you need first to the board parameter to RS two three two, not PWM.
four. Uh, start test. Test joystick. Test joystick. You only we make the minor adjust button to the max position. To one max position, and uh, you will see here value is changing. So the The mid, the center value is just in the middle position. One six zero two one zero six two. Max. One eight. Max. And uh, mini. Mini here. Dead zero. Dead zone. Dead zone. That is only when 10 or 20. 10 or 20 are okay. And my 20. 10. Save. Uh, you need to be careful about this. This button. It also will uh, affect the value. Then PPM2. Oh, how about two motor forward speed forward and reverse and safe, safe and PPM2. PPM2, I use it for toning the motor. So we test middle position 1204. Okay, and the max 1859. Uh, eight five nine, okay. One, one three four six, one three four six. We see. Uh, reverse. If you want the uh, reverse change, zero or one. Zero. One. PPM3 usually only I use it for motor running and enable running level to enable enable control. I use channel five or channel six as you like. Here I use channel five as test max value two thousand two thousand. When you only use two switch, two switch for on off switch, this center is between between the max and the mini. If you own on switch, on off switch, uh, make this uh, center value between max and between the middle of max and the mini value. Okay. I'll set it. Then we change the control input to PWM input and save. You can see here it stop. Uh, see my receiver transmitter running stop running. Okay. If we you want to change the running direction. Okay, from 
and then here. Oh, you can see it from the extend port here. Yes. Change it. Direction is changed. Oh, you need to stop first. Stop, stop, stop the remote learning and then change. That's it. Stop first, change value, save. And restart, change direction. Okay. When one thing you need to be careful before you close the uh, transmitter, motor will run here. If you power here first, motor is running. So we must to disable the controller first, and then. Power of the transmitter. 